Today is the 24th of Rabi'a Awal, 1440 of the Hijrah. We are on the chapter Zakat al Fitr, uh, page number 302. It's really Zakat al Fitr is an obligation upon every Muslim. Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa muwala. Zakat al Fitr is called also Sadaqat al Fitr. Zakat al-Fitr is also called Sadaqat al-Fitr. And Sadaqat al-Fitr is the Sadaqah which is compulsory to be given when you are uh, finishing Ramadan. So when you finish Ramadan, then you have to pay and give out Sadaqat al-Fitr, which is called also Zakat al-Fitr. So it's incumbent and compulsory on every Muslim and on every Muslim, but who is in charge of paying it is the one with the head of the family. So it is to be paid on every Muslim, male, female, old or young. Uh, whether he is a baby or is an adult, all of those have to be, whether he is fasting, okay, whether he is fasting uh, or he is not fasting. So he has to be paid so that for every person who fasts, he has to pay what? Sadaqat al-Fitr. Sadaqat al-Fitr, uh, hadith of Allah ibn Allah, go ahead, and that is? The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam obligated Zakat al-Fitr as one star of dates or body. It is a must upon every state and free person, male and female, young or old, of the Muslims. He ordered that it should be given before going out to perform the Eid Salah. So we understand now even the, uh, the free and the slave has to pay back, whether it's free or slave. So the master has to pay on behalf of the slave. And it's to be given before Salat al -Aid. Before Salat al -Aid. What is the wisdom behind it? It's wisdom. Ibn Abbas said, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam obligated zakat al fitr as purification for the fasting person from foul or vain speech and to feed the poor. If someone gives it before the Eid prayer, it is an accepted zakat. If someone gives it after the Eid prayer, it is simply a type of charity. So the wisdom behind it is two things. Number one, it is a purification to the fasting person from the indecent speech that he would definitely do in Ramadan, because nobody is immune against that. So that would be a purification. And also it is food to be given to the poor, to the poor, indigent. So it is food, so it is to be a sadaqah, food to be given to the indigent. And also it is a purification for the person who's fasting from his obscenity. He who does it before the prayer of the Eid, then this is a sadaqah of futr which is accepted. If you do it after Salat al Eid, then it is not accepted as a sadaqah of futr. It will be just a normal charity. Now, upon whom it is obligated, it is obligated upon every free Muslim who possesses enough to support himself and his family for one day and night. It is obligatory for him to be on behalf of himself and all whom he supports, such as his wife, children and servants, if they are Muslims. Ibn Umar said, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ordered the Zakat al fitr to be given on behalf of the young, old, free state and those whom you support. So, Sadaqat al fitr to be given on behalf of all of those mentioned. So the wife and the children and the servant, whom is in charge of him, of them, he will pay the Sadaqat al on their behalf as long as they are Muslims. So he don't pay Sadaqat al on non Muslims. The baby is not required to fast, but we pay Sadaqat al on him. The baby is not required to fast, but we pay Sadaqat al on him. And Sadaqat al is to be paid even for the person who is not able because of his old age to fast. So he would for, for, feed a poor person for every day, but at the end of Ramadan, before Salat he has to as well to give what? Sadaqat and Fitr. Even though that he did not fast, but he has to give Sadaqat Fitr as a food for the poor people. 
So the love of the man. Um, now, what about the baby in the womb? The baby in the womb is no sadaqat al futur on his. If he's in the womb, unless he was born before sunset of the last day of Ramadan. So, last day, Ramadan, the sunset will be indicated that tomorrow is not late. Okay? Tomorrow is late. So, if he's born before sunset, you have to face Allah Khatul Fatah of the Dina. If he's born after sunset, there is no Allah Khatul Fatah on his behalf. So what you try to do is Shahwa to make your wife to get so birth before or after. If it's after you pay, before you pay. More reward before. <laughs> Bye. Tobba. Sana. Complimentary upon every individual is. What's that? Shh, carry on. There's a breathing going on underneath there. No, it's a microphone. You have microphone in you. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, no, just move away. That's the way. It's not the front of the board. So. Guys, I, I'm not the one who is only awake here. It's this. It's nothing to do with the water. See it? That's the water. There's a microphone. It's earth. It's from Spursy. It's a problem now. Nobody knew this. It's a lot of water now. River. <laughs> I knew he held the microphone the wrong way. Yes, this one. Take it out, the other one. Ah, it's this one. See it? That's the water's finished now. Put the water back, please. Okay. So which one is water? It's this one? Or this one? Okay, this is the one. Can you stick it out? The other one will work in, by the way. Can you untangle them? You know, what's what damage the wire is like this. This will damage the wire, by the way. Tangle them. So the cut breaks inside. Ask me, I do fix it. So it is this one. Yours, I knew it. <laughs> the culprit is yours. Put mine back. Have you got another wire? Now, so then I got another wire, no? Very simple. Simple. Yeah. simple. <coughs> okay, put it in the second one. Bismillah. Okay. It's, it's nothing to do with you change it, it's actually when you untangle it. Okay. See? Duck. Can you back it? Can you go back? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. not in the wire. See? No, you see. Push that, please. No, 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 no. The wire, the wire from here, from here. <coughs> you can easily, you're not breaking things. Easy, easy, man. I can do it. Okay, take it out. Okay. That's the one. It's earthy. This is what happened, it's inside it. Either this, see it? I know what it is, but if I got my stuff, I'll do it. Suleiman has to be everything. Yeah. Not just leading the prayer. <laughs> he has to be an expert. Yeah. Okay. Cut that from the video, okay? That's why you're teaching us everything. Like that. That's a lot of fun. Cut that from the video. That's in the video already. <laughs>
I've got a screwdriver. You just push it because I don't. It used to be pushed in. Wait in the car. They take a long time. It's just there. Kalas, kalas, down. Down, down. Never mind, we'll have a different microphone because this is touching. I know what's happening to you. Okay, leave it to the Okay. Class. Leave it to the You don't have a wire. Wire? Well, yeah. like this. Why do you cut out and you just go and chew? <laughs> Simba, Simba, Simba knows. We'll do this after the patch. Okay. What it needs is a piece of wood. <coughs> my stuff inside. Soldering iron and all that. <laughs> Just a while, just a while. I'm sure you should have one. Because you need more than a microphone. <coughs> a fluke or something coming here, conferences. Never had a conference here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have only two microphones? Mm -hmm. I have four. Bismillah, speak up. Bismillah. See? It's really tight. No, it's not. It's, they twist like it. They touch each other. Have you got salad tape, Bob? Have you? Mm -hmm. you know? Ah, it's being cut. Khalas, it's being cut. That's why. No, it's okay. I need the soldering. Soldering kit. I'll do that to the shop.
an amplifier or microphone. These guys, they take for five minutes. Give me that screwdriver, please, this little one. There's like a lot of hair on. Now, you can twist as much as you want because they're going to be, that's it, together. Uh, that's it. 
Yeah, yeah. Say what? Say that. Would you say that? Didn't you? I said I'm looking at his face. I think he's he's thinking why not? But why not put tape on the third one? The third one is insulated. You seen it? Yeah. <coughs> We're finished. The job is done. The job is done. <laughs> so the sisters, the question is that we are fixing electrician here. We're giving the brothers a class in electric. It's just one of these massages, I don't know that. When I teach in Masjid Salafi, I have to prepare, prepare myself for these things. Because I know. You know the Hizbis, they've got the best systems. They've got money. They've got nothing. Just before I put it, let me test it, okay? Is it in? It's in. Okay, Bismillah. Let me test it first. Bismillah. Perfect. Okay, so if this switches, nothing happens. Why? It's insulated. Hmm? Well, the problem is because of the sellotape, we have to put ah, gun. to push that, and off we go. Please don't tangle the wire too much because if you do ch -ch -ch like this, you know, that's what happened. Khalas. No water sound, inshallah. And this. Keep your bandwidth in. <laughs> cut that wire. Where's Hassan? Where's Hassan? Where's Hassan? <laughs> please, please cut that all of that, please. Start from the beginning. I don't, I don't want the wiring and all of that. <laughs> العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وعلى من تبع هداهم إلى يوم الدين. A summarization of what has been taking place. زكاة الفطر is called صدقة الفطر. It is the zakah which is incumbent upon the person to pay it at the end of Ramadan before صلاة العيد. It should be paid by the person who is in charge on behalf of his himself, his wife, his children. And his servant, if he's got any, and whether <coughs> this person is an adult or he is a, a young baby, whether he is a female or a, f or a male, whether he's free, whether he's slave, whether he's able to fast or not able to fast, whether he's ill or not ill, then Sadaqat al-Fatr has to be paid for two reasons. One, which is to purify the fasting person from his indecency. If he does not fast, it doesn't matter because the second category is that is to be paid to the poor people. So it is for both cases. So if you are fasting, then it's for two things. If you're not fasting, it is for one thing, which is that is to pay to feed the poor people. This is the al-Fatr. As Abdullah ibn Umar he had said, the Prophet had commanded us to pay the al-Fatr on those I have mentioned before. What is the Sadaqat al-Fatr? How much? Fatr. How much? I'm just reading the title. <laughs> it's amount. It is obligatory upon every individual. Is half a sa of wheat or a sa of dates, raisins, barley, or dried yogurt, or other kinds of food that can take their place, such as rice and other staple foods. <coughs> the evidence for the obligatory obligation of a half sa of wheat is in the hadith of Awa ibn Az Zubair. Who said, Asma bit Abu Bakr, during the time of Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, used to give the zakah on behalf of her family, the free and the slaves among them. She would give half a sa'a of wheat or a sa'a of dates according to the measures and sa'a that would support them. The hadith that, the hadith that, or other than wheat one, other than wheat one must give a sa'a is in the hadith of Abu Sa'id al Khudri. Who said we used to give zakat of fitr as a sa'a of meal, barley, date, dried yogurt, or raisins? Right. So, sadaqat al fitr is half a sa'a only for the wheat, and sa'a for any other food. But this food has to fulfill the following the food is that can be food, not something which is to be added to the food, like sugar. It's not food, it is to be added to the food. Or salt, it's not food, it's to be added to the food. 
Number two, it has to be from the food that can be stored. Not the running expiry would be five, six days unless you put it in the freezer. Because you expect these guys who are poor people, they don't have freezers, they don't have fridges. So it has to be from those can be stored, which is raisins, not the grapes. The grapes cannot be stored. It'll rot. Five days will throw it. So raisins can stay for what? A long time. And from the akit, akit which is the dry curd, the cheese, not the normal cheese, because the cheese runs in five days and then you finish. But the other one stays for what? Years. Curd. You know the curd? Which is um, hard cheese. Hard yogurt, I should say. Third one, wheat, barley, <coughs> because these other ones can stay for a long time. Lentil, stay for a long time. Beans, dry beans, can be stay for a long time. So it has to be from those food can be stored, because we expect that the poor person, he hasn't got freezers to store those foods. So that's why it has to be from the dry food that can be stored. And it has to be food, not something to be aiding the food. That's a sar from that. What is the sar? Because we don't really use sar these days, we use kilograms. The sar is a volume size rather than it is a weight size. It's a volume. And that volume, you could give it a rough estimate how much is it in weight. Volume means, you know, the volume is different from the weight. The volume of it, the sar, is four handfuls. These handfuls is two average hands. So they're not really massive hands, they're not baby hands, like that, okay? And they are not widely open, and they're not really closed, they're just about like that. You take from the, from the rice, for example, rice, or wheat, or barley, or dal, lentil, or raisins, or, or dry curd, and you take it like this, and you what? You put, that's one, two, three, four. So four equivalent to one sa'ah. So half of the sa'ah of the wheat, which is only the wheat, one and two. You understand that? Let's just say it in kilograms. Kilograms. Wheat, about 1.5 kilograms. Well, less than that. 1.25, I would say. 1.25 from the wheat. That's half a sa'ah. The sa'ah is two and a half. Two and a half roughly, because some of the uh, dry food that we have measured from the volume, because the sa'i, the sa'i of al-Medina, the sa'i of the Medina, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam And the sa'i is still, until today, is being preserved. So if you, for example, go to Medina, they will give you the sa'i, and they made a cup out of it. So that sa'i, they made a cup of it. So they know how much is the sa'i. Do you understand me? So the sa'i of Medina is known. So the handful of that, they've got a cup. So four handful of that, that means what? One sa'ah. And I've seen it, I've got it in my own hands. And I measured with it from the food. And I made a document for how much from the rice at that place, which is in our country, because we have Egyptian rice, we have American rice, we have Indian rice, we have Pakistani rice, and each one differs. And I have seen that the average weight of the sa'ah from the rice is 2.5, but there is one had measured actually 2.6, 2, 2 kilo 600 grams. So for the sake of calculation, we made it 3 kilograms, to be better. So we made 3 kilograms for each. So I know it is above the sa'ah. Because if you have 2.5 kilo, as I said, one of the times of the food is more than that. So weight-wise, to be on the safe side, 3 kilograms. So, those who collect zakat and fitr, if they want to collect exactly, not more, then they have to measure, uh, to ask how much is the <coughs> three kilograms of, for example, rice in that particular country which they're going to send their money to. Let's say the three kilograms in that country cost two pounds. So, they should collect, okay, for each individual, two pounds. It's a cattle photo. So, they'll say to the people, so you two pounds for each individual. Your family is 10, 20 pounds. Family 15, 30 pounds. Okay? That's how it is. So, at the end of the day, when they collect the money, they divide it by two, and they'll get how many what? 
kilos. So if you are sending the money just like this to the people and they don't know what they're doing there, you are responsible before Allah. You're taking the money for no uh, knowledge and you have to pay from your own pocket. Those people who are there, they need to make sure that they are giving the kilograms, at least the minimum. And this happens lots of times in lots of masajid where the people, they're not educated. They just collect. The most important thing to keep, put that sign. Four, four pounds was a cattle water. Five pounds was a cattle water. But they don't know what they're doing with it. They don't know what they're doing. So they send it to the country where they want to send it, especially if it's their own country. Not, not the, I wouldn't say not against it. But those people who receive it there, they start paying, buying with it uh, chicken, uh, meat, uh, uh, fairly liquid, uh, you know, what's that? Chicken is not from the Sakat al Meat is not from the Sakat al Fair liquid is not from the Sakat al Okay, Washing up liquid is not from the Sakat al It's not. So you need to have that. That person, you understand. What is he having? So when you collect that money, that person, he needs to know on the other end, when you send him the money, that I, you have, we have gathered for you the amount of 200 people. How do they know 200 people? Because if they collect the zakat al minimum five pounds. So the amount of money they have gathered, they divide it by what? By five. Do you understand me? So they collect it, let's say, 1,000 pounds, divided by five, that's 200 people. So they have to give how many kilos? 600 kilos. So if they buy 50 kilos of chicken, uh, which is not it, they have to produce now 600 kilos. That chicken has nothing to do with it. So 600 kilos for the man is a cattle photo. So the man, make sure that you understand what I'm saying. So because this is a very important. 600 kilos. If they bought 600 kilos for 500 pounds, no problem. So they bought extra what? They bought extra how much? 500. 500. Remember, these guys here collected. How much is a cattle photo you carry here? How much you make it? Every year. So they know this much. Yeah, around 1500. No, no, no. How much is it for oh, per person? Per person. Uh, last time it was uh, 450, I think. 450. Don't make it 450 and 350. Uh, you can make it 4, 3, 5, like this. Yeah. 50, 50 is not right. I think it was, I think it was 4, 4 pounds. Okay. 4 pounds. 4 for 50. 4 pounds. Yeah. With inflation, make it 5 maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it does. 4 pounds is more than the cattle for. Doesn't matter, but let's say, let's say they collected four pounds. So they've got now, let's say, a thousand pounds. They got how much for that time? Fifteen thousand pounds? No, no, not thousand. Uh, Fifteen hundred, I think. Fifteen, one thousand five hundred. Yeah. So how many people you got? You want to know how many kilos they should produce? Three hundred people. Is it three hundred people? More than that. Oh, less than that. Because each one thousand is two hundred fifty. True or not? Divide 1,500 by 4. If you divide 1,000, that's 250. That's 4 pounds, you remember? Are you with me, guys, or are you just talking to myself? Okay. You're not going to get a proper number. It doesn't matter. I'll tell you what to do with the proper number. It's just, I know what I'm talking about. It's 175.5. You can't have a half a person. I know that. But just to make you understand, I have to simplify the maths for you guys. Go on. Listen. This is... Okay. They've collected 1,500. It's not 1,500 exactly, because they collected the four pounds for each. <coughs> Divided by four, that's 375. Can you see that? Look, 375. Multiplied by what we said? Mm. By three, because each person, three kilos. Are you with me? That guy's sleeping. Three kilos, okay? Three kilos. How much we got? 1,125. So you tell them there, produce for us 1,125 kilos of any of those food that can be stored. Do you understand me? Whether you want to make it rice, whether you want to make it lentil, or you make it, make it a mixture, we want at least 1,125. So if you got the 1,125 for 1,000 pounds in that country, they got extra what? 500 pounds, because we collected 1,500. So this 1,125, they purchased it 
for one thousand pounds. Because cheap, I know it's cheaper in that country. So they got what extra? Five hundred. Five hundred, you could buy washing up people, it doesn't matter. You can give it free money to the poor people. You can give it money. But this has to be produced. You know, so every time you collect money, you set the target. Five pounds, for example, this year. Five pounds for Salah Qatifah. Make sure, brothers, to look around you in the Masjid. Because it's a competition. A masjid who is less, people tend to won't pay for him. It's a competition who pays less. Do you understand me? Especially the family has got 15 people. Uh, and so this may make a difference between masjid of three pounds and masjid of five pounds. So you have five pounds, 75 pounds I'll pay. It's five pounds each. It's a lot of money. But three pounds, 45. Much less. I go to the 45 brother. So you have to be as well, not really too much. You can't just say, 10 pounds for us at a cattle photo. Nobody's going to come to you. So to me as well, looking at around, how much is it? So if it's five pounds this year, so if I collect, regardless how much, I divide by five pounds and then I multiply by three. I divide by five pounds to know how many people, and I multiply by three to know how many kilos I should produce. How many kilos? Tell the brother, please, brothers, produce that much of kilos. Doesn't matter whether they are a mixture of little dental and uh, beans, and it doesn't matter. Produce me that number of kilos, and the rest you could give it to the people the way that you wish. Maybe you want to give them the rice, for example, cooking oil. That would give you cooking oil from that extra money. Yeah, you could produce, for example, with it some cheese, uh, which is not from the little photo. You could give with it with anything you like. I used to, for example, give a, a package, a package. So the katifot have been produced, for example, lentil or rice. So we give a bag of rice, a bag of lentil, and cooking oil in that bag, which is a package. It's like a, a, a package. Look, cooking oil, matches. Some of them don't have matches. Okay, matches to light up, and I can't remember something else. And, you know, like uh, tuna cans, extra for them. So they would be happy, a package for them. Full of, you know, all this that they like. So the cattle photo plus the extra bits. And on top of that, we get the money because they collect it. So if you understand what you're doing, then you do very well. But if you don't understand, like we did not understand at the beginning what we were doing, we have to pay for our own pocket. Because we collected money, mashallah, we got, for example, 5,000 pounds. 5,000 pounds a long time ago, I'm talking about 30 years ago. 5,000 pounds. Four, a lot of money. And 5,000 pounds said, we're quite well by now, chicken. We buy cheese, we buy... No, no, we know that this is from the foods that can be stored, but we bought not the, 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 the wheat which we have. The Sadaqat Lutta, we made it as the price of the wheat, and the wheat is the cheapest. So we gave lentil, we gave raisins, we gave dates. <coughs> and the money of ours will not purchase the amount of kilos. Oh my God. We were in short of 600 kilos. After we knew from the Sheikh that we made a disaster. So to collect from the brothers to produce 600 kilos, we produce it from the cheapest. And that is the wheat. Just to make up for the kilos that we have, we have to pay it from our own pocket. So we have to make sure that as we are administration of this masjid, where are we going to send the money? That person he has at the other end, fear Allah and knows what he's doing. And when he receives the al fatr he does not give it to his own relatives as well. Call themselves as what they do. Relative number one. You put your relative number ten. Last one. It's important to start with the people who you are, are more in need than the others. But Sadaqat al Futter became a mafia. <coughs> Just like China, it became mafia these days. It's a mafia. It's a, a money generating. You can just sit down and make money. Money comes to you from everywhere. So to feel Allah Azza wa this is the money going to be questioned on the day of Azharah Shirekani. You will not be passing the test. Or the bridge until you're going to be questioned of every penny how you earned it and how you are spent it. Fine. Fine. According to most of the jurors, it is not enough to give its value in money. However, Abu Hanifa allows it. This was stated by Imam al Nawi in his shop, Sahih Muslim. We don't really agree with Abu Hanifa, he's a great scholar, but all the scholars are not infallible. So, Abu Hanifa said, if it is good to give to the poor people money, then we give them money. It is wrong. Because we don't have any single narration 
where the Prophet of Allah, the companions, gave money. And the money was available at that time. And if you're going to make this Sadaqat al-Fitr, which the Prophet of Allah made it as food, he said food, has to be money, then you're accusing the Prophet of Allah is falling short. And you have discovered something that the Prophet did not discover. And you are thinking that you are more merciful to the poor than the Prophet. So, how much Sadaqat al-Fitr, by the way? Let's say that you are a family of 10 people. You're producing 30 kilos, according to the way I've said. 30 kilos of, 30, of, of rice, that's 30 pounds. I'm asking, which is more beneficial to the poor person in terms of money-wise? You give him 30 pounds or you give him the price of your ubhiyah, and that is your slaughtering, which is about 100, 150. Of course, the ubhiyah. Can anybody allow for us now, instead of making the whole thing, slaughtering, to give what? Give yeah. the money. Can we? Mm -hmm. No. We have to make the whole thing. And give the poor person meat. And the poor person has no right to say to me, brother, don't give me meat, give me money. No, sorry. It's not just the meat I'm giving you. I have to slaughter. This is, this is a symbol of Allah, Sha'ira. Sha'ira min Sha'ir Allah. It's through the symbol that when I'm making it, I am upholding Allah's name to be the uppermost by fulfilling my duty by slaughtering it. So I need to slaughter it. I can't give it in money. And if any person had allowed the purchase of the Udhiyah to be given money to the poor person, this Udhiyah is not going to be accepted. Same thing with Sadaqat al -Fatr. You cannot give it as money. You have to give it not even as clothes, as food. Because the Prophet Allah gave it food and he had commanded the companions to give it in food. Go. The time at which it is... No, no, no. He said, I have said, Abu Hanifa said, it is not accepted. There's something lingering to that. Yeah. I say that Abu Hanifa's view is to be rejected because your Lord is not forgetful and had given its value being permissible. Allah or his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, would have made that clear. Hence, it is obligatory to stop. It is obligatory to stop at the apparent and clear meaning of the text without distorting or reinterpreting it. <coughs> right. Now the time of when do you take it out? Come here, man. Come here. Don't sit at the back and start sleeping behind his back. Hey, hey, hey. In that space. <coughs> Three years I've been saying that. Come on, yes. Shaitan will be honest. See when you sit down like that? Look, he's sleeping. Hello? <laughs> This is the way Shaitan goes vulnerable. And you guys, what are you sitting in the back? We're not in cafeteria here, brother. Come here. Sit down, close, close, close. Get close, isn't it? No, no, there's a gap. Get close, close. Get close. Because the Shaitan will be coming to the person who's in the back. You don't believe me? Look at that. Example. <laughs> yeah. The time I reach it is to be given. Ibn Umar stated, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ordered that it should be given before going out to perform the Eid Salah. It is permissible to give it to a recipient a day or two before the day of Eid al-Fitr. So we are allowed, but the best time is to give it between the sunset of the last day of Ramadan and the Eid prayer. But this time is not enough now for a country to distribute all the Sadaqat al -Fitr. At the time of the Prophet, there were few people. So the companions, at the time when the Muslim country expanded, they started giving it two days, two days before the last day. You're asking, this masjid collects it about six, seven days, maybe ten days, even from the beginning of Ramadan. It doesn't matter when they collect it. <coughs> what it matters when they what? Give it, distribute it. So they distribute it, Let's say in the last two days, it doesn't matter if they collected it at the beginning of Ramadan. So you know that you've given it, and you know that the masjid is gonna, only going to give it, and you, could, you give it money to the masjid, because they're not going to accept from your rice, because they can't really you know, export rice from here. So you give them money, and they will turn the money into the what? Into food, because you trust them. But if you don't trust them, they're going to change it to food, then don't give it to them. So it has to be given food. Just like it, you have to be knowledgeable. So people who make sadaqat al fatr or any zakah, beside they are trustworthy, they have to be knowledgeable. They have to know what they're doing. So I have to give it to them in money, and I know the fact that they will give it in food, and in the last two days. Or, if there's too many people, 
two days is not enough. I think it's enough anyway. If you work 24 hours, like we used to give Sadaqat al Fatah 24 hours. We used to knock on the doors at 3 o'clock in the morning. With sometimes the wind and the gusting, the cold, you know. And even to the extent we were in a big massive lorry of our friends here, and all of them, mashallah, PhDs, and all of them, mashallah, shiuch. And we were at the beginning racing each other, which one is going to take it to the, you know, the package to the door of the poor people. To the extent we have arrived to a time where we're so tired and so extremely windy and cold, and each person says, you go ahead and take the reward. <laughs> Before we're racing, now, <laughs> you, 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 I'm giving you the picture to give one, get a reward, don't worry. Because it's so cold. And we, I remember I knocked on a lady's door, it was one o'clock in the morning. For them, one o'clock, that means what? If they're sleeping, six o'clock, seven o'clock, they sleep. Show you a picture. One o'clock is what? So, the lady, she's in her own, some orphans with her, and she called no husband. She said, yes! She was scared. I said, don't worry, we are people bringing you help. Said, help? Help? She's asking for help. <laughs> At this time, help! And then she opened the door and she was happy. And she, she's, she took the stuff and she was happy and everything, alhamdulillah. And sometimes, you know, we depend upon the month. If it's 29 or 39, we don't know. So if it's 30, alhamdulillah gives us more opportunity. But if it's 29, we have to make sure that we do it before, before the Salat al-Fajr, before the uh, Salat al-Eid. Because we have to go and participate in Salat al-Fajr. And if you guys here, you cannot just come to the Imam before he makes Salat al Brother, Sadaqat al Futr. Brother, I can't do Sadaqat al Futr. When we are in a country where poor people are there, I think you go give it to him before Salat al Eid. But here I can't, really, I can't give it. I have to link it to somebody there who's going to pray Salat al you know, give it to some poor person. And I'm saying this because one day, in a big hall, in a madrasa school, I'm about to lead the Eid prayer. That was the first Eid prayer in this country. It was in, in high wicked. I'm about to say Allah. This person comes, Shaykh Abbas of the Qatar. Sorry? He said, I've got money for the Qatar. He said, SubhanAllah. So I started before Salah so Salah talking about this issue for two, three minutes. Brothers, we can't just look up the last minute. How can I give this Salah Qatar? How can I tell it to food now? And I'll give it to the poor people. What are the poor people? But let me tell you something. Let me do. We didn't have those, you know, mobile smartphones and all that. Little Nokia, you know, little baby Nokia. You know. And there's no such thing, for example, internet calls. It was just like you have to read the whole number. I said, hang on a second. I was, some of the countries that we know, Eid al Fatah is still to go. So they have time. Like, for example, Pakistan. In our country, they already prayed it because they were already before us. But in Pakistan, some of them the following day. So, yes, I'm going, yeah, hello, can you just say, We've got some money here, can you turn it into food there? Yeah, yeah, okay, we'll give you the money later on. I couldn't buy something that day to do it. And I said, brother, I will take it, but it's not going to be sadaqah. I'm going to take it zakah. No more sadaqah. No more sadaqah. It was up to you. So we don't encourage any masjid to start collecting like I've seen them to do it. Before salat al they collect sadaqah al fatr That's what they do. Why are you going to link it? To which country? Already most of the Muslim countries, they pray something before you. So how can you take Sadaqat al-Fatr? So you can't just, Sadaqat al-Fatr to be closing down a day before, here, yeah, a day before Eid. So on the 29th, 28th day, sorry, so go and sort yourself. We take the money, so we haven't got any connection. The 29th is, you know, these people, you need to have some time to distribute how much you've got, mashallah. 1,500 is not really that much. That means 1,500, you've got what? 370, 375 people. That means lots of people, they're not paid Sadaqat al-Fatr here. So you're talking about how much, how many families? You're talking about the right figure. Huh? You're talking the right figure. How much is it? Jumu'ah? Sadaqat al-Fatr last time, how much was it? I think 2,000. And how much was the Sadaqat al-Fatr? Four pounds? Yeah. Yeah, it should have been here if we were talking about this. Don't make it four pound fifty or five pound fifty. Just four or five or three. Four. Four pounds. So two thousand four hundred 
divided by four, so you've got 600 people. 600 people divided by an average family of five, 120 people, that's it. 120 people. An average of five, I'm sure that there are more, but an average of five. They work there at night, and Hmm? They usually work there at night. No, 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 I'm talking about the number of people, but well, there's not a lot here. Oh, yeah, yeah. 120 families, that's it. Average. Yeah. So that means there's a competition. Some other masjid they're taking their sadaqat al-qatr from somebody else. So you have to make an advertising that please pay sadaqat al-qatr to us. We are knowledgeable. People there will do it properly. Then people pay you. Sadaqat al-qatr in, in an high looking 12,000, 13,000. Not uh, not that much money. In a sense, more. That's about my time for 12,000. Now it's more. And then they started divided between two countries. That's how much they have. Yeah, so if, when they trust you, they start giving you. They don't trust you. I'm sure they trust you. Right. Uh, last, last thing. Go on. And uh, continue, please. Ibn Umar used to give it to those who would accept it. He would give it a day or two before the day of Ibn Fitr. No. However, it is forbidden to delay it beyond its time without a valid excuse. Ibn Abbas said, The Messenger of Allah obligated, obligated Sakat al Fitr as purification for the fasting person from foul or vain speech and to feed the poor. If someone gives it before they eat a prayer, it is an accepted zakat. If someone gives it after they eat prayer, it is simply a type of charity. So it's haram to delay it more than the time which is allowed. Last thing? It's recipients. Sakat al Fitr only to be given to the poor. This is clear in this statement, just to quote it from Ibn Arbas to feed the poor. You know there's a cash to be given to eight categories. Sadaqat al is only to two categories. Miskin and fakir. Cannot be given to the traveler, cannot be given to the person who's in debt. Only be given to the poor and the indigent. The ones who can't have food. Those are the ones to be given to. Right, now lastly, Sadaqat al go ahead. Voluntary charity. It is recommended to give often as voluntary charity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ كَمَثَلِ حَبَّاتٍ أَنْفَتَتْ سَبْعَ سَنَابِلَا فِي كُلِّ سُنْبُلَاتٍ سُنْبُلَاتٍ مِنْ أَنْ تُحَبَّةٍ وَاللَّهُ يُضَاعِ بِلِمَنْ يَشَاءُ وَاللَّهُ وَاسِعُ مَالِهِ نعم the likeness of those who spend their wealth in the way of Allah is as the likeness of a grain of corn. It grows seven years and each year has a hundred grains. Allah gives manifold increase to whom He pleases, and Allah is sufficient, all sufficient for His crea creations, crea crea creatures, needs or needs or not. Can you read that again, please? We creatures, creatures. <laughs> it and Allah me. is all sufficient for His uh, creation, creatures, needs. Or no one. Furthermore, the Prophet said. So let's just say that meaning the ones who spend their money in the way of Allah is like a seed, which had it produced seven seeds. From each seed is a seven hundred seed. So that means Allah gives them multiple. So each Hassan receives seven hundred. Ten times up to seven hundred. Also, the Prophet said. In the morning of every day, two angels descend from heaven. One of them says, O oh Allah, compensate whoever... Exactly. He's not awake. O oh Allah, compensate whoever spends in your cause. And the other says, O oh Allah, destroy whoever withholds. Right. Sadaqat al Sadaqat al is finished. We're going to finish the Hajj, but before I do so, please do have... Any other question that you want to ask me? In four weeks, we'll start with the marriage, inshallah. So, uh, follow. Uh, those people you're going to give this zakat of fitr to, how, many, how much do you give them? Very well done. Ask questions like that. How much do I give sadaqat al fitr of that? It doesn't matter how much. <coughs> it, how much you take from the people sadaqat al fitr and remember how much to give, it's up to you. You could give them uh, a year. Uh, provision a year could give them lots of it. Um, the, so if you have a limited sadaqat al you have lots of people, then you give at least uh, relevant to how much and how many people in that family, the poor people. Do you understand me? So it's not really to count how much. No. So for example, we usually give one tarb to each, but when we say a big, big family, we give them two tarb.
two packages. Okay? So it doesn't matter how much you give it, it's how much we take from the people. Now this poor person, uh, 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 sorry, any, by the way, there's something which hasn't been discussed, which is very important, that question is, when I, what is the threshold that you have to pay Sadaqat al -Fatr? So the poor person, does he pay Sadaqat al -Fatr? Do you understand? What is being given as a surplus, extra on top of your day and night food, then you have to pay Sadaqat al -Fatr. So the poor person maybe didn't have any food. Suddenly, because Sadaqat al -Fatr, he had what? Food. So he would pay Sadaqat al -Fatr out of his Sadaqat al -Fatr. Got it? Again, if you had your food and day and night, yourself and your family, the surplus, you didn't have to pay Sadaqat al -Fatr. If you haven't got your food for the day and the night, there is no Sadaqat al -Fatr on you. So let's say the poor person, he did not have anything to pay because he had not got the food for the day or the night. Suddenly he had just before the last day, uh, or the last, during the last days, lots of people giving him Sadaqat al-Fatr. He becomes having now what? Masha'Allah, lots of food. He has to pay back Sadaqat al-Fatr to the ones who are poorer than him. So he gives it back to the masjid. Do you understand me? So he got food and he will give to the masjid. This is food or money. Give to Sadaqat al-Fatr to others. Do you understand me? So the only ones who are exempted from Sadaqat al-Fatr is the one who cannot produce extra and surplus food on top of their food for the night and the day. Very good question. Now. Fadl. Uh, do you have to give it to an organization or if you know four people yourself? You, get them you could give it to the organization. Give it to the organization. Must you give it? No problem. If you know somebody, then better you could give it to somebody. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, does it have to be given to an organization? No, no, it doesn't have to be given to an organization. If you know poor people yourself, you need better. Rather than to trust somebody, maybe you don't really know whether you're going to give it to the right people or not. So if you know poor people yourself, I would say, especially if it's a relative. Because nobody maybe remembers your relative more than you self. Because it's incumbent upon you to make sure that your relatives are the ones who are receiving the sadaqat al-fatr of yours. Okay? Now. Fatr. Um, what if... Uh the recipient of Sadaqa uh, al-Fidr says that um, I want money, not tweets or... Not that means he doesn't need Sadaqa al-Fidr. <laughs> <laughs> give it to somebody else. Bye-bye. And he will say, if you give it to me, please. We say in Arabic, al shahad na bit ammar Beggars cannot be choosers. Do you understand that? Beggars cannot be choosers. So that means it's not a beggar, this guy. He's not a poor person. He's just uh, uh, pretending to be a poor person. Naam, Jumar. And you mentioned the issue of collecting the Zakat on, uh, on Eid Day or Salat al Eid. Yeah. We do, we do that at this masjid. Right. However, we do tell the people that this is going to be Salat and also Salat al Fitr. You mean the last day? <coughs> if your masjid tells them this is Sadaqah, that's very good. So make sure that they know that. Guy, brothers, that we don't, you have to make because the new customer, they don't know that. So maybe you should to write on top of something there. This is now sadaqa or normal zakah if you wish. But you have to put zakah in the middle this is zakah. Because sadaqa is different from zakah as well. So you've got zakat fatr, you've got zakah, and we've got normal sadaqa. Zakah has to be given money. Sadaqat fatr has to be given food. And normal sadaqa, you could give it very liquid and washing up liquid. It doesn't matter. Sadaqa is you are, you are allowed to do whatever you allow with it. You could give it the way that the people will want. Poor people, they want pencils, they give them pencils, buy them pencils. Okay. But zakat, they give them money. Now, 